Well, sweet traffic. Good morning, November 681. Echo Whiskey is taxiing and entering a backtrack. First contact, time 0650. Automatic, runway news 0. November 681, Echo Whiskey, local information, patch message. 681, Echo Whiskey, Cessna 182, out of a private site in Wiltshire called Wadsworth, inbound to the 2K Airborne uh, on the hour, just uh, requesting that you activate the flight plan for me. One, Echo Whiskey. The plan was to pop to the 2K and back in a day, so uh, thanks to Sky Demon filing flight plans and gas uh, for inbound and outbound flights the day before was pretty easy and took about five minutes. Routing was uh, down via Popham, avoiding hopefully all of the people from the vintage aircraft flying that was going on. Down past Lasham, which I don't think had launched by the time we went past, they had a competition going on. And then basically along the south coast, before coasting out and heading towards the 2K. It's a pretty short crossing and you can soon see the 2K and the estuary and the 2K is about there. At a 2K ground, November 681 Whiskey, where would you like to park? Echo Whiskey, you can complete any line in front of tower or complete uh, one which exists. Uh, the sign you can leave frequency, good day. Leave frequency, uh, thank you, good day. UK is a great destination, it's a lovely little town, it's a short walk in, it's a fantastic museum, although it was closed. So the walk into town from the airport is probably about 25 minutes maybe. Um, not too bad, but better still, hire a bike, I just couldn't do that today. This is the uh, Westminster Hotel, recently refurbished. All rooms were fully booked and, and outrageously expensive as well. It was heaving, the 2K was super, super busy. And it's a great little destination because it's easy to fly to, loads and loads of restaurants, loads of great shops, loads of great food. Pretty much, it's a pleaser and you can do it so easily. And of course, not forgetting, there's a bloody lovely beach, it's huge. Departing the two gate back to the UK, happily no issues with finding the flight plan or everything. I'd taken a quick look at Safe Sky uh, before departing and noticed that the south of England was absolutely heaving with aircraft. So I kind of planned a route along the south coast, trying to avoid the most of the uh, of the build-ups, uh, looking at as much traffic as I could possibly see. Snuck into Southampton's airspace with their permission, of course, to try and avoid uh, a whole load of the gliding competition out of Lasham. Traffic, 6 8 one Whiskey, right base, 1 0 500. Kind of lost, gain, not lost, kind of gained about 5 or 6 knots on a bit of wind shear or something on the way in, so that led to a longer landing than normal. Still plenty of space, but it was longer than normal. For, for those people who like the numbers, I think it took uh, an hour and 36 to go from Wardswick to the 2K on the way out, and something like an hour and 16 on the way back. Landing fee at the 2K was 36 euros, which is clearly much, much more than you get at a lot of French airfields. But given they got full air traffic, customs, with two hours notice, and it's a short walk into town, um, in, in the scheme of things, the 36 euros is really worth it. If you're, if you're only using it to clear customs, then Calais is probably a better bet. But if you're out for a day visit or a nice weekend away, then it's tough to beat the 2K for a, for a northern French destination. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and maybe think about subscribing.